Hey guys, it's Kelsey, and I'm sorry if you can hear my bird and my background, but this is my significant other, Thomas, who is so nice to do this, because I'm wanting to do a video on what it's like to go to a military academy in the United States. He goes to the United States Air Force Academy, and he's currently almost done with his junior year. So I wanted to ask him these questions just to kind of better understand what it's like to go to Service Academy and let y'all hear the answers and see what it's like. Um, because I know some of the audience could be younger people graduating high school knowing what they want to do for their life or if you're prior enlisted. Okay, so hi Thomas. Hello. <laughs> uh, what is the best part about attending a service academy, a military service academy? Um, well, so far I've gotten to do some stuff that's really, really cool, uh, stuff that no other people really get to do. It's a guaranteed job after graduation. It's Free, free, awesome, world-class education. It's, and I guess the best part is that I've always wanted to be a pilot. That's what I've wanted to do since I was little. And so going to the Air Force Academy specifically gives me the best chance of doing that. And what is the worst part? <sighs> Honestly, it, this, this isn't really even specific to a service academy, but for me the worst part is being away from home, being away from family, being away from you, being away from all the things that I grew up and been used to, and just moving to a new environment and having to go through all this stressful stuff on your own. And that, that's something I wasn't used to when I went out there, and it's something that if, if the Air Force Academy was in San Antonio, I don't think I would have an issue with it at all. Yeah. yeah. If you could go back and do anything different from when you first were applying to the Academy or going into basic, what would it be? I think that for the most part there's not a lot you can do that's going to necessarily set you apart from your peers or set you up any better than I could. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I wish I just kind of prepared myself a little bit better for that shock of being away, but that I don't think there's anything I could have done differently that would have made it easier. Okay, how are the people that you work with and are at the academy with? Yeah, the, the, the people at the academy are actually, they're, they're, they're awesome people. They're a bunch of very driven, very motivated, brilliant, athletic, talented, very competent people. I'm, I'm glad that I get to work with them. Mm -hmm. What are some important things a person should know before attending a military service academy that you can share with us? Yeah. Uh, it is hard. It is. It's, they, they're, they're pretty much made to be one of the worst things you will ever have to do because it's, it's prepping you for the ability to push on even in the face of adversity. So you just have to realize that, yeah, you're not going to get to live the party lifestyle and get to sleep in on weekdays and be like, oh cool, I don't have classes on Wednesdays like you would at another university, but <clears throat> you you get to do some stuff that all of those all your peers at the normal institutions would not get to do. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, how long is your general commitment after the first day of your junior year? So unlike ROTC at normal um, colleges, you have where you sign your contract. I know that you guys at the academy have to commit by the first day of your junior year, and if you're not going to commit your time, you have to leave. So, how long is your commitment? Okay, so how, how that works is the, uh, the first two years at any of the service academies that's West Point, the Naval Academy, the Air Force Academy, uh, I think the Coast Guard Academy, and the Merchant Marine. I'm, I'm not sure how the Merchant Marine Academy works, but um, first two years are generally totally free, no commitment, but the first day of classes on your junior year, you get locked in to say, okay, you now either have to serve a certain term of service after you graduate, or you have to pay back your education. And I've never met somebody who's willingly done the uh, payback option because it ends up being something like $400,000. If you get kicked, if you get kicked out the day before graduation, 
it's it's not something you want to do. But after you graduate, it's generally a five-year commitment, and then they can add to that based upon what your job is, what training you go through. For example, if you become a pilot, then it's, it goes from being five years to being ten years. Mm. So you're going to be doing if you get if you get the pilot slot that you want, you're going to have to do ten years. Yep. More or less. Twenty twenty-nine. Mm. Okay. Um. What has been the most exciting or coolest thing that you've done since being at the United States Air Force Academy um, that you can share with us? Between your sophomore and junior year, you get to do something, a program called Operation Air Force. And so it's, people just call it ops. When you go on ops, what you do is they take a handful of cadets and, and then scatter them all across the country and we'll take like six cadets go to this base, and six cadets go to this base, and six cadets go to this base. And you basically just get to shadow what the officers do on that base uh, for three weeks. And you get to go see what they do, see where they live, see where they eat, and what kind of stuff you would be learning, what kind of stuff you'd be doing. So I got to go to Cannon Air Force Base in Clovis, New Mexico. Now Clovis, New Mexico is very small town, not a lot to do there. But the base itself is really cool because it's a special operations base. And I got to go fly on an AC-130, go in the cockpit, learn how everything works, go in the back, load the gun, and I actually got to shoot the big 105 millimeter cannon out of the AC-130 and I had to kill a captured Iraqi tank that they had brought back to use as targets. So, Can you hit it? Yeah, I hit it. I killed the tank. That's pretty cool. I already knew all this stuff, but I'm wanting to ask him so you all know the experiences that he's been through. Okay, what are you wanting to do in the Air Force once you graduate? And you said be a pilot, so yeah. we're going to skip that. Uh, do you fear deployment? You know, obviously deploying is not something that is easy. It's It takes you away from your family. Gets, you have to go down to a pretty dangerous environment and it, it, on, on deployment it's just, you work seven days a week it's not like ah, oh, cool it's the weekend Taliban doesn't care this the weekend but so I, I don't necessarily as much worry about the actual deployment it's just that knowing how I am away from family it, it, it would probably not be super fun so I'd be excited to go do the job but I don't really want to leave or leave my family back out yeah um, how hard is it to maintain a relationship with someone while attending the service academy? It can be difficult at times because, you know, you don't, I don't get to see you all that much. I don't get to see her and I don't get to talk to her as much as I'd like. Like, there will be nights where I, I get back to my room. I have so much homework to do. I had a stupid parade that day. I have an inspection the next morning. And I have a bunch of homework to do, and I'll just be totally swamped, and she'll be wanting to call me and see what I'm doing. And like, I just do not have time for this right now. I, I can talk to you tomorrow, but I have to do this. And I know that's I know that's frustrating. She's been pretty good about it, because I know she's, she's a very sociable person. But it, that's, that's kind of difficult, is trying to just manage time and stress and distance. And it, 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 can, it can build up uh, on top of it. Yeah, and I would say I'm going to put my part to that question since I've been with him three years while he's been at the academy. I would say if you, I would say the hardest part is basic because you go two and a half months, I think. Two and a half months of really not being able to text each other, talk to each other. You can only write letters and those letters are extremely slow through the mail. Mm -hmm. And they take your, I even got one letter two months after your basic finished. Like it was, it was, I got a letter two months after you finished and I was like, what is this? You know, I, I, and it was some, it's something that you wrote at the very beginning. So they don't really prioritize basics mail. And that was really hard because it was basically a mental relationship for two months and it really takes the str if you can get through basic you can get through anything and he was going through a lot more than I was but it was a pretty hard time okay and then the last question how many people dropped out in your class since 
or I guess since before commitment. Okay. So we started off with about 1,200 people. And in the course of basic and the first two years and all the stuff that comes with that, we are currently down to a little over a thousand and expect to go down to below a thousand before we graduate. So you think that people are going to leave even after they're committed? It's not going to be really people's choice as much as some, just in a, in a class of a thousand people, some people are going to do dumb stuff, some people are going to fail, some people are just not going to cut it for, for one reason or another. Yeah. So. So that is a little bit of his experience. And what class are you? I am the class of 2019. Yeah. So I hope that this guy has gave you some perspective. A lot of people ask me questions on this, or uh, I have a lot of friends that are in the, in the Marines or Army that are online friends. And I wanted to give his, what it was like for him. And also if you are somebody that who's interested in joining a service academy, what you can expect. And I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks.